<laughs> Yo, YouTube, what is going on? It's Fizzy Bubbly here, bringing you guys a new video. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a few things about being refreshing and uh, having a good time in Crucible and how you can do that, and really some tips and tricks for you guys. And uh, I'm gonna start off this game pretty well. I'm um, using the imprecation, I think it's called. It's basically the first curse, uh, common version of it, though. Um, there's a quest line for it. You just gotta follow it. It's not bad hand cannon. Um, I like those high impact um, hand cannons because uh, I feel like I'm not relying on the rate of fire. I'm relying on more of my precision shots and landing shots uh, rather than just getting as many bullets as I can. But um, I'm playing with a full party. I'm playing with my buddies here. Um, good people. And uh, that pretty much kind of opens the first topic. Um, when you're playing Crucible, guys, especially 6v6 and you're playing Iron Banner, um, one thing I'd recommend is going with the party. Do not go alone. I mean, you can. It's, you're going to have a hard time. You know, people are out here, especially with this week's Iron Banner. Uh, you got the Marsh Sniper that has really good rolls on it. Longview with Hidden Hand. Very nice. And then also Nerwin's Mercy. Very good pulse rifle. Good rate of fire. Impact and stability. Just good, a good uh, pulse rifle. Um, but typically that's how Iron Banner is. People are going to party up. And it's just kind of frustrating to, to go against guys like that. Um, but one thing I will say, though, is uh, if you had a, a, a decent enough team, you'll usually win. Not all the time. That's not guaranteed. But I will say I did not lose one game with this team. We did not lose one game. And out of the maybe eight matches we played together, that's pretty, that pretty good. Um, so we're going out here. We're talking, communicating. And you guys can see this hand cannon, man. It's, it's, it's fun. It's so much fun to use. Um, and that kind of opens the next topic. Uh, first thing was jumping into Crucible with the team and communicating. Second thing is is uh, landing your shots and timing them appropriately. Uh, this hand cannon um, helps me with that. It has a slow rate of fire but high impact. So basically I'm relying on the uh, the precision shots and even body shots. And this guy's teabagging. I don't know why. Checking how many kills I have here real quick. I need three more headshots. Um, rely on those uh, body shots precision shots and such uh, and I feel like that improves your game now don't get me wrong I'm not saying the last words easy to use not by any means but I feel like a lot of people have a tendency to spam the uh, trigger um, and that full auto ability and unfortunately that's not always the best thing you can do because if you're you know playing on a map that necessarily the last word is not coming in your you, you know in favor um, you might want to use something else you know, uh, perfect examples: Ice Luna, Hawk Moon, and Thorn. Granted, those things have higher right of fire than the uh, than the first curse, but you're still gonna have to time your shots appropriately. And one thing, though, uh, that's that's something you know you can do, especially in six v six. Something you can practice. Here, I wait for him to come out of his shade, and I just end up getting the body perfect. Get the kill. And now we're rolling from there. Um, but that's one thing, though, guys, I will say. It's time your shots. Know, where, know, know your opponent's movements. Almost predicting. Um, and here I, I choke my shots, man. I, I choke. I nearly had them. All I needed was to land another shot. And, you know, that just comes with spacing your, your shots. And there's going to be a, a point in this video where um, I don't time my shots appropriately. I kind of spam them, and I kind of panic. I gather myself, though, and I use my, my grenades. And you guys will see shortly. Um, but another thing, though, guys, is knowing when to challenge and when not to challenge. Um, you guys will see me sometimes in my videos where I'll be just standing down a lane with my sniper. And it's not because I'm trying to camp for a kill streak or anything like that. It's because I know that that's a, crudal, or a critical spawn point. Um, I tethering uh, an opponent here for Tony because I didn't want her to die. And I'm a good friend. Um, but knowing the timing and, and, and where the enemy is going to spawn. And this is a clip I'm talking about. You guys can see here I'm missing so many shots. I missed maybe two shots. And that's a lot for a hand cannon like this. And luckily this guy, I don't know what he was doing. Pulling out a fusion rifle from that far away. And uh, I ended up coming on top. But I think, at some, I think I die here at some point. I don't really remember. But time your shots, those guys. No one to... Uh, to to get into gunfights here I, I pull out my sniper I know I can't hit this guy um, just with my hand cannon um, 
but I choked this night. But it is what it is. We live and learn. You know, you're practicing. Heavy ammo's coming up. And that's another thing, though, guys. And Iron Banner specifically, you need to have heavy ammo. If you don't have heavy ammo, at least make sure the other team doesn't get it. Do, do, do something. You cannot allow the enemy team to have both heavies. Um, just, just stay away from that stuff. Um, here Tony is communicating to me, and uh, that goes back to my first topic. And uh, she thought she was going to have to back up, and she ends up going just full head over heels, just charging in there. But that's fine. Whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. But communicating, knowing when your teammates need help, backing them up, telling them that you got them. And we're chilling. We're waiting here. And uh, I know spawn points are going to get a little funky from here on out because they're just cap and B. Uh, special ammo, another thing. Make sure you guys pick up the special ammo around the maps. Um, they are ever so important. Um, and uh, pretty much uh, I'm just kind of letting this video roll. And another reason why I'm uploading this video, uh, kind of unedited, is kind of for Game Boy because he, he's saying that I did not use this imprecation or whatever hand cannon the whole game. And this shows that I do. Um, but I kind of just wanted to show him. And, you guys are going to see that I ended up pretty with a, a pretty nice KD. I think I ended up on top of the leaderboard, too. Uh, pretty nice game for Iron Banner. Um, not using some fancy schmancy hand cannon. Some, um, and, uh, yeah. One thing, though, guys, that you always want to make sure is that you complement your teammates with orbs. And that's another topic for that. Um, constantly, constantly using supers in this damn, damn specific... Uh, Crucible game mode is just complement each other with orbs. You need to make sure you do that. Complement each other uh, with not only that, but special ammo. What I brought up before. Uh, don't pick up the special if your teammates aren't up. Don't do that unless you have to. But if you can wait, don't pick it up. And then this guy, oh man, chokes the slam and you're done, son. Um, this guy here is over there, and I'm gonna try to get the snipe, and I get destroyed from the side, yo. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the topics I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm going to have another video ready for the next day. Uh, with uh, It's kind of more of a relaxed, uh, funnier video with uh, Ruck and Game Boy. We were sweating and having fun. That's, that's just the name of the game, guys. Go out and do stuff. Have fun. And I think here I get the, uh, the necessary uh, kills now uh, for my hand cannon. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. But... Um, we're pretty much steamrolling this team from this point on, and that's 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 having fun. Crucible, Iron Banner, go out and grind, man. Have fun though, guys. I I, I really just wanted to talk to you guys just for a little bit. Um, apologize again for the lack of uploads. I've been slacking, yo. Know. Um, but I will get back in the groove. Uh, that I promise. Um, but yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for the video. Um, I'm going to let it play out. You guys can see my KD and what, whatnot. But if you guys did like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the com or the, uh, the videos. Uh, comment down below, too. If you guys have questions or concerns or things like that. I've had people message me, too, and say, you know, Fizzy, what about this you know, setup? Would you recommend it? And uh, I'm not the crucible guru on that, but I will tell you whether or not if the, the cruci for that loadout is, is decent enough to be using or... Thoughts and opinions, I should say. But yeah, guys, like I said, that does it for the video. Uh, I'll be uploading another one tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let the rest of this clip roll out on YouTube. I'll see you later. Peace.